So a Chinese manufacturer you have probably never heard of has beaten the smartphone giants in the race to release the first foldable smartphone. Ryu Technology released the FlexPi, the first foldable phone with flexible display. And I am talking about real foldable screen, not kind of foldable displays that we have seen on ZT, Axon M and similar handsets. The FlexPi isn't just the first device with foldable display, but also it is the first mobile phone powered by yet to be announced 7 nanometer Qualcomm 8150 chipset which appears to be a new marketing name of Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 flagship platform that will power phones like the Galaxy S10, OnePlus 7, Google Pixel 4 and every other hot Android smartphone coming out next year. Now talking about the device, it's actually a tablet as unfolded it has a 7.8 inch screen with 4 to 3 aspect ratio. When folded, the measurement drops to 4 inches. It is an AMOLED panel that folds down the middle. The software dubbed as Water OS switches to using only half of the screen, displaying a wallpaper on the other half. You get to choose which half you want to use, though one has slightly more screen and the other one is next to the dual camera setup. It has a 16 megapixel plus 20 megapixel camera, by the way the second camera module has a telephoto lens. In the demo you will see that the following video shows exactly why smartphones with foldable screen sound so exciting. It also shows that smartphones makers will need to come up with more convenient user experience for the device and make sure those new devices offer top-notch quality. As you can easily see, the display seems very plasticky when it folded out. It is also very glossy which could be a problem. Yes, you get a tablet-like interface that works both portrait and landscape modules. But the display doesn't appear to offer a good experience at all when it comes to touch and navigation. Just look at how the light bounces off the surface of the screen. That means the surface isn't as smooth and even as you don't expect from any Android smartphone or any tablet. The experience however is far from being polished. You will notice some lag and jettle when app have to switch in new screen mode. Not to mention that the device isn't seems to be a pocketable device which is the whole reason to make foldable devices in the first place. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you think about this device. The base configuration has a 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. But the other options include 8GB of RAM, 256GB of storage and 8GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. The smartphone also supports fast charging. It goes from 0 to 80% in just one hour. Now talking about the price, the base variant is priced at 9000 Chinese Yuan which is translated to 95,000 rupees in India. Which doesn't seem so high considering that the sum of Android flagship cost much more without next gen chipset and foldable displays. So guys that's it for today, hope you guys like this video, if you did please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for stay updated about latest tech and gadgets. Thanks for watching.